how you use SkyDrive will depend on where you are using Excel and what your needs are. If you're a home or small business user, you may find it useful to upload Excel files that you want to share with others or to make them available so that you could use them if you need to. For example, before I travel, I'll place the files I might need while I'm away on SkyDrive so that I have them accessible when I'm traveling. I mightn't always carry a computer with me, but I can certainly get access to my files via, for example, my iPad, so I can answer questions and get information that I might need. If you're working with a group, for example, if you're treasurer of an organization, then you could record your organization's finances in an Excel worksheet and store it on a shared location in SkyDrive. You can then give access to that file to other members of your organization so that they can view or edit the data. SkyDrive is a great location for storing files so they'll be easily accessible and for sharing them with others. Now, in a business situation, it may or may not be appropriate to store files to SkyDrive. If you're working for someone else, you should ask them to be sure that you're permitted to use SkyDrive. One problem with SkyDrive from a business point of view is that if you store files that you're working on SkyDrive, they'll be stored in your personal location. And if you don't share them with others, no one else can get to the files. Your employer may take a dim view of this and may require that work that you do during your employment is stored on the local network or somewhere where it can be backed up regularly and where the business managers have access to it. It's not generally appropriate to store business information in a private storage site, which is what SkyDrive is. This is, however, something that you would need to talk to your employer about.